Hello, hello, everyone. Um, I, I realized I didn't write speaker notes for this one, so I'm just kind of going to wing it. <laughs> um, but I, I think that, you know, as we walk into the last day of KubeCon, I, I thought it would be nice to, like, take, you know, take some time to reflect on the things that I've been working on in the past, the things that I want to do next in my life, how I feel about the community. And uh, I think the answer is I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super tired, and I think, you know, I've spent this week having these wonderful, deep conversations with you, uh, despite everything that's been going on in the world, everything that has been going on in our lives. Um, and I think the consensus is roughly the same. We're tired. Uh, so I wanted to, like, do a quick run-through of some of the things that I've been working on in the past and trying not to trip on stage. Um, so, like, so many things. Uh, one of the first things I did was um, co-chair for SIG Azure in, uh, in uh, Kubernetes. <sighs> co-chair for SIG PM. Co-chair for SIG Release. Uh, helped co-create the uh, Kubernetes enhancement proposals uh, process. Uh, helped build the release engineering subproject. Uh, was a new membership coordinator. Uh, founded working group naming alongside uh, Celeste and uh, Chase and, uh, and Zachary. I am a maintainer for DEX. I am a co-chair for TAG contributor strategy. I helped co-found uh, <laughs> inclusive naming initiative and <laughs> set a reminder to myself to stop clicking the clicker. Um, so I say all this to say that I've been involved in quite a few things in the community and um, kind of across the, the cloud native ecosystem. And sometimes you gotta, you gotta stop clicking the clicker. Um, so first off, slow down. Everything that you're going through right now, um, actually, can we, can we take a moment to say, uh, how many maintainers do we have in the house? Round of applause or raise your hands. All right, how many people are looking to be maintainers at some point? Come on. All right. So I want you to stop. I want you to slow down. I want you to recognize that a lot of the things that are, are happening today in your life, they're not your fault. Um, and this is some advice I, I got from a wonderful uh, open source dragon recently. Um, Burnout. Uh, I think you know one of one of my favorite talks was a panel um, that we did after going to after KubeCon Seattle. Um, I think we were all sitting in our rooms, blackout curtains shut tight, uh, on Twitter, just tweeting about how tired we were, running from running from uh, event to event, talk to talk. I think during uh, KubeCon Seattle, I did six or seven talks. And it was like, oh my god, I'm so happy to see you all. I've never seen you before. I, I, you only existed in a Slack thing before to me. And now you're real. OK, bye. I have to go do a talk. Um, and that proceeded for a while. I think everyone was feeling that way. And we decided to get together and do a panel. Um, so we did that panel uh, the last day at, uh, in KubeCon at, in Barcelona. Um, we did this panel twice, both there and for Open Source Leadership Summit. Um, but it's huge. You have probably heard since then a million talks about burnout. It's real. Pay attention. Watch out for the signs. Um, I'm not going to go into it because, again, you've seen a million talks about this. Um, but there are a lot of things going on. There's social unrest in the world. And that is not great. Um, there, there's, um, you know, there's so many opportunities for us to be kinder to ourselves, kinder to the people around us. We have to be cognizant of that. There's a whole panty going on, right? There's a pandemic. We have been locked inside of our houses uh, for almost two years now, um, and it erodes. If you watch. Uh, you know, if you've seen uh, the, the previous keynotes around building the culture of the community as kind of a, a, a joint talk between the steering committee and the code of conduct committee, um, something that keeps us kind of strong and sane is being able to, to, uh, 
to keep that connective tissue between all of the kind of com the, the communities that we interact with day to day. Um, and this has completely eroded our ability to do it, right? So first tip I'm going to give you, um, and I, I almost don't want to do this talk because like Christoph and Paris killed it. They covered so much of what I wanted to say. Um, but I think, you know, I am also terrible at slides. I've been looking at all of the slides this week and I'm like, wow, I'm good at riffing, but terrible at slides. So <laughs> I'm going to just give you some, some tips. Stop signing up for things. I think the, um, you know, one of the songs that I wanted to play is that uh, from Paramore, uh, Born for This, right? And I think that this community is so special. I think that we are, we were born to do this. We have like these, spe this, these special skills that like, honestly, you're, you're just some of the most incredible people I've ever met in my life. And, and it makes me want to do more. And it makes me want to do more and more and more. And I feel like that's the same for a lot of you, right? And so we're, we're constantly angling to want to build more for this community, for, for the, the dozens of communities that we're a part of. And um, it leads to that burnout thing that I was talking about earlier. Um, it leads to not really understanding where, uh, you know, during that burnout panel, we were talking about like the, the lines between Kubernetes I do for work and Kubernetes I do for play or the um, working 14 hours as an SRE, or signing up for so many projects that you, uh, you can't really maintain any of them effectively. Stop signing up for things. Don't feel that you need to be the person who does that thing every time. <laughs> and I see a few of my friends <laughs> making faces right now. <laughs> um, we need to figure out ways to scale ourselves. Uh, so Christoph and, and Paris talked quite a bit about contributor experience, talked about the over long-term strategy for the community, talked about the release team, talked about, you know, kind of some of the, the techniques that we've built into the process uh, to, to ensure that we're not the only ones working on these things, right? Um, so I would, say, I would say one of the things that I've noticed that, is, uh, that has been most difficult for me is recognizing that we don't have an easy path kind of in any of these communities to move from contributor to maintainer. And there is a, there is a significant gap, right, between like, I can do the thing, I've built a process to help people to do the thing. And this is something that I'm recognizing in my, you know, in my new role, I have this contributor hat, I have this maintainer hat, but I've also got this like, sponsorship hat, right? Like a new foundation has opened and you must do this and give this money and talk to this person and put someone on a board and yada, 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 right? Or you have to read this proposal or someone wants to open source this project internally and it's something you've never done before. Um, so I think everything, you know, everything that we've, we've kind of worked on in the community uh, across the last few years around whether it's the caps, the PRRs that they were mentioning, building out the release team. Building out the release team has been one of the most fulfilling, uh, you know, day-to-day -day things that I that I get to do or that I get to like oversee in the community. And prior to that, I would I would try to pop into the release team as they were as they were starting up and say, "Hey, I, I give this crazy speech. I'm like." We're going to tear down the release team. It's like, we're going to build processes and tools that are so cool that we're never going to need a release team anymore. Like, never. That hasn't happened yet. And I, I've been giving that speech for like multiple years at this point. Um, so I, I stopped giving the speech. And I, and I haven't had the time that I wanted to, to spend with the release team. Um, but I also don't need to anymore. Uh, we've, we've got like all of these awesome contributors that have been in SIG release. Um, that there's some things that happen, and I read about them later, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool, like, how did they, how did they, and, and because we have given people, and it's not just SIG release, it's, it's, I mean, I think, you know, contributor experience is a perfect example, tag contributor strategy on the CNCF level, because we've built processes to enable people to become leaders, there's, there are things that we're going to miss, there's things that we're going to miss, there are things that, 
we are at least out of the way for. And we can't see everything. We can't do everything. Um, so figure out ways to whatever project you're working on, whatever, uh, you know, what, and this is, not even, this is not even just open source. This is also in, in your own life, right? There are things that you can, can put in place um, to, to better understand, like, your day-to-day, -day, the day-to-day -day of the teams that you work with, not just on the open source, but, but, but also on the, on the corporate side, um, that allow you to move out of the way of that process. So I, I say to maintainers, and this is my last slide, I'm, again, just riffing with you all. Um, so I say to maintainers, try to figure out what fills that gap from contributor to maintainer. Because as you try to teach and you try to do that one-on-one -on -one mentoring, there are only so many people you can do it for. There are only so many people you can do it with, right? And if you try to take that, if you try to take that individual approach with everyone, we're going to go back to that burnout slide, right? Well, I don't know. We're not going to go to that. <laughs> but but <laughs> that's how it starts. And you, you know, and if there are things that you think that you're the only person in the world that can, can do, you're wrong. Document it. Or ask someone to help you document it or record a talk, a demo, something, right, to move yourself out of the way. And those conversations become, go ask in the channel, or check out this video that we recorded, or read these documents that we, we uh, hacked up just now, right? You, you create opportunities for contribution, you create opportunities for people to, to ask questions that you maybe made the assumption that everyone knew, or you maybe made the assumption that only you can do. Um, so I, I, I leave you with figure out ways to scale yourself, figure out ways to scale that burden from moving from contributor to maintainer, because the, I think the, the imminent threat that we have for so many of these communities are maintainers are burning out. Maintainers are burning out, and we don't understand how to put people in those seats to continue the work. So um, especially for some of the people that I've, I've chatted with this week about this, please take care of yourself. Try to put things in place, slow down, stop doing so much. Stop, stop asking, you know, like stop asking for more things, stop accepting more things, learning how to say no, super important. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's it.